we meet again. For part two of the Acid Trip series. Last time you were here, the duo had no clue as to what their channel was about. Only that they were going to trip and vlog the experience. At the end of their first adventure, the LSD substance proved to be a useful tool in creating the very channel you're on today. And my existence. My name is Jewel, your peaceful travel companion. Enjoy the trip. By now, it must be obvious to you, as it is to me, that LSD is very powerful stuff. It's not good, it's not bad, it's only a chemical, a drug. There's some people who think that LSD is the greatest gift of mankind since Tootie Fruity Ice Cream. But there are many others who feel that LSD is bad news for the individual and for the world he lives in. Now it's your turn. We're looking over the material, and some of the material is even physical. Yes. We, were able to <laughs> some, we got some lifestyles. So we got some lifestyles. Some, na some Magnum Trojan Magnums. condoms. Nice. Some. Never even one, heard of these. One banana. Banana, banana split. split. Oh, okay. Uh, Oasis. Oasis. One. Oasis. Okay. So it's like cool. for the gentle type. What is good everybody? Today is the day. We came all the way to Miami Beach and we're gonna take acid there. All right, so we're walking down South Beach right now. Well, we're on Key Biscayne, right? Is that what it is? Is that where we're at? We're on Ocean Drive in Miami, Florida. And it should be interesting. We're getting out of our comfort zone today. We wouldn't regularly do this. This is not something we would, we would do. We're doing it for the content. No, yep, and it's gonna be a great experience, hopefully. It all goes well. Things are crazy down here, especially in this time of year, you know what I'm saying? I think that we can go. This is very dangerous, crossing the street on acid. Dude, Oh man, I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Like I'm starting to feel the weight down effects of it. Yeah. So like it's probably gonna hit me eventually, like as soon as I probably get there. So hopefully when we get there, it'll already like already be all yeah for in. hopefully we're there because this is a long walk already so right as we're walking down ocean drive i'm immediately hit by promotions promotional for restaurants for things of that nature and i'm tripping hard right now. i'm tripping hard right now yeah you know, like, like they have this there's a bunch of flags everywhere and uh we're just trying to get to where everything's at it doesn't seem like anything's going on right now but like, i don't think we're going there. in the right direction the bro. park is over there yeah we are we're literally in the middle of a green field so in we, Ocean Drive. So we made it. Doesn't seem like there's much We of haven't a made it, bro. What do you mean? If, obviously, if there's not much of a celebration, we haven't made it. Well, it's probably just that they have the flags out. Or or the, bro, yes, it's you keep mentioning the flags, but they're not here, man. We were misinterpreted what the entire thing was gonna be. No, dude. Maybe. They were, just we're not at the thing, it's what you're not realizing. Is it? So it seems like we're lost right now. Just kind of wandering here now. We don't, know where, don't, we don't really know where to go, but we're looking for uh, for some type of party, right? I, mean, we're, we're I think we're not at the place, bro. I think we gotta go like. But down. this is the park where we're no, supposed dude, to be. No, dude, no, wait, bro. Wait, yes, we're not at the section for the thing. This trip was a lot different than all the other ones. It's definitely something. It's like, oh, it's like a different reality or something. Yeah. It's so weird. Look at all those balloons. Damn. So Pride in itself is already a special event, regardless if you're tripping or not. I mean, it's the celebration of LGBT rights, being able to be proud of, uh, you know, your sexuality and being able to be open in it and giving it people, uh, you know, LGBT, fucking everyone, the chance to just come out and be as free as they can in public and with all the colors, you know what I mean? The event in right. itself is just very in your face. You know, you wanna know what's funny to think right now? Yeah. That like, 
This is the most random shit I've done in my life. Look at everything that's happening right now. It's a lot. Like I'm here under a elephant next to like a rainbow barrier. And it's cool. It's, it's, it looks like there's a lot of different type of people here. This is just so Like I've seen a couple drunks. I've seen a couple, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. average everyday working people. I, I don't I mean yeah, like it's very it's a lot. Dude, there's sandals and fries. Alright, so first first goal, go that way. Getting out of our comfort zone and kind of trying to adopt this chemical in a completely different area than we're used to. beach right now as you can see in full clothing it's a pretty like it's a pretty nice event I like the, the weather now it's cooled down a little bit we have to check to see if we're getting sunburned again no I I, I at least feel I compared feel to last time I, I feel, feel normal, normal. like what <laughs> no, oh, no we're good thank you We just saw some dude like streaking with his ass cheeks out. It's getting hard to find out here. There's a lot of different things going on. It's a lot, a lot. Uh, so it's nothing that, it's not that we're weirded out or anything, but it was just super like, super strange, like seeing all these different faces and like, coming at you and like all these like different type of personality. You gotta make it look more fun than that. I'm gonna go up again and see how narrow this is. Like, look at that. Oh my god. There you go. Oh my god. Are you recording us? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Wait, is it free? So we're about to head on a Ferris wheel. Thank god it's free right the here. Super Rainbow Ferris wheel of death. The US Constitution. Written by our founding fathers in such a way for it to be altered over time. Now, historically, the United States, as we all know, hasn't always been on the right side of history. It has only been 154 years since slavery was eradicated with the 13th Amendment. Oh, and the final remnants of segregation ended only 65 years ago. And maybe some of you are a bit confused as to why. I'm bringing up America's dark path. Well, well, it actually has a lot more to do with drug policy than you may even know. There was a time when drugs in the U.S. could be compared to pharmaceuticals in a way. If not, well, they were pharmaceuticals. For example, cocaine was used as a painkiller, only made illegal after. So what does this mean? Along with cocaine, many other drugs fell victim to the unfair racial bias of the past. Leading us to today. So we are officially taking a ride on the Ferris wheel, wheel of LGBT. Holy shit. Dude, like... God damn. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yo, this is crazy, bro. Ferris wheel scared the shit out of me, low key. But we're not riding on just any Ferris wheel. We're riding on the super Ferris wheel of LGBT rights. And it's gonna take us higher up. I don't even wanna look up, bro. Holy Alrighty. shit. All right, so. Oh my yeah. God, this is high as fuck. Holy yeah, shit. Like, bro, this is just the holy shit. We can see all of my holy shit, bro. Yeah. Whoa. Way too high up. I feel like I'm about to die, bro. We're just swinging back and forth. It feels nice. I feel like the background is just kind of moving around me as I'm recording you. It's the fucking so it's weirdest like a, it's thing like a music video out of nowhere. 